It's summer in Alaska, and it's a killer. Hey, it's Brain Muffin back with a beer review, and here we have from Alaskan Brewing the Summer Kolsch or Kulsch, not our Kulsch style ale. So this is a German ale, one of the very rare ales that they make. This one's usually nice and golden in color. It's crispy, sometimes a little bit sour, uh, refreshing, great for the summertime. So this is made in Alaska, and uh, I don't know a whole lot about Alaskan brewing. So if it's not a real uh, craft brewer, please let me know. Anheuser-Busch is getting sneakier and sneakier and it's harder and harder. So it's got a nice aroma. Looks like we got bright tank carbonation. So it's probably going to go flat here because I didn't pour it hardly enough. Hardly enough. Man, it's got a great Kolsch. It's Kulsch actually, but uh, oh umlaut. Mmm, great aroma. Man, I want a, I want a Wiener Schnitzel. A Jaeger schnitzel. Or a, oh, that is good. Wow. That is fantastic. 5.3%. Uh, 18 IBUs. Wow, even cold. That is fantastic. Wow. That is very, very good. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of this style, and I've only had a few, and usually a lot of the craft brewers, they, they make it too hoppy or too bitter or a little sweat sour. I am sweating under the lights tonight. That is very good. I mean, that really makes me want to drink, drink, eat some German food. I mean, some really good German food, especially I grew up, you know, I spent six years in southern Germany, so uh, my dad was stationed there in the army, so I... A third of my life growing up was in Germany, until 18, if you can do the math. Basically, I spent a third of my life in East Tennessee, a third of my life uh, in Germany, and the other six years just moving all over the place. I mean, between being born and being 18. And yes, I turned 18 in Germany. Wow. That is fantastic. I mean, I like this better than a lot of the lagers and other crap that they drink in Germany. That is very good. I really like this. I don't know how many more times I can say I like it. Now, my friends only gave us a three and a quarter rating on average. Uh, I'm guessing they're not huge. Uh, you know, they, they think ales and it's a pale ale and it's hoppy and all this other stuff. But for the style, I mean, that I, I could deal with a bit better carbonation, but some of that's the bright tank. You're just what, you, just what you're going to get, especially when it's cold and bottled. But man, I would love to try this on draft. I bet you the head is creamy and smooth. Good. I mean, it, it does kick up a little bit when you try. Hints of breadiness on the nose. I mean, just hints. But it's very clean, very refreshing. It's very kush. I'm giving this one a four and a half. It's my first check-in of this beer. Come on, four and a half. I mean, that, I, I'd be hard pressed to say I've had a better cool shit. And, and I have. It's been, jeez, 20 plus years ago when I lived in Tennessee and started getting into home brewing. And the guy running the homebrew stop, I mean, he had the, the bottles and everything with had the, the rubber stopper and the, you know, the, oh, that was a really good cool shit. Or cold shit, as most people say. Yeah, I don't care that there's a place near here. Wow, that's good. So, there you go, four and a half from, out of five from me. It's a very good beer of this style that I'm just kind of eh on. Except, man, I would love to have this with German food. Next time at Hofbrau House, I'm going to see if they have one. I don't think they do. I think they do all lagers. Their Hefeweizen is really good. Um, the, the premium lager that I'm not a big fan of. And they used to have one called the Adulterator, which I think they still make, but I never remember when they have it. But that's really good, too. But so there you go. So thank you so much from Alaskan, uh, Alaskan Brewing, the Summer Cool Style Ale. Uh, have you had this before? Also, please let me know, are they a real craft brewery? Are they independent? Are they like one of these sneaky Anheuser-Busch BS things? I, I, they, they've duped me more than once on some stuff. And then some breweries have sold out, and they're off my list, and that list is getting longer. I may have to uh, curb my enthusiasm there a little bit. You know, Goose Island and... Uh, 
I missed some of their stuff, and um, the other brewery is escaping me at the moment. So anyway, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for subscribing over here. Thanks so much for the retweets on Twitter. That's great, and we'll see you later. Goodbye. Tobuscus, do you really have to walk all over the freaking place? Huh? Do you really?